all right, here's an image, okay, of uh, a flower that I took just in my house, okay, with some <clears throat> window light. And what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to take this into Photoshop, all right, and we're going to make it in, we're going to put a texture over it. So we say edit in, we go to Photoshop. All right, and then we got to go back and we got to get another image, okay, of our texture. So we go back to Photoshop and we're going to use this texture. Now I got this texture, okay, from Fly Paper Textures. I bought this, you, I, buy, I bought a, ta a pack of textures from Fly Paper, all right, and they're very good textures. You can get free textures, okay, you just have to Google and look for them. Okay, but you don't want textures, okay, that are too small in, in file size. So always check the file size. Make sure, you know, it's, it's, it's a good file size. I'm not sure what to tell you as far as file size, but don't let it be too small. All right, so we'll take this in and we'll say edit into Photoshop. All right, and we've got our two tabs. Here's our base image. And here is our texture. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically do the same thing we've been doing. Okay, we're going to say select all. Marching answer there. All right, it's selected. Now we're going to go to edit, copy. And it copies that into the computer's memory now. And when we go to the base image, all right, it's still there in the computer's memory. And now we just say edit paste. Now, it's too small. So we go to image, I'm sorry, edit, transform, and we say scale. Puts the boxes there, and then you can just drag this box, okay, until it fits. Like that. And I always try to use as much of it as I can in there. All right, but then you must, you also have to check this box here. And now look at the layers panel. Okay, you have the texture and you have the background. Now you go up to these things, which are called, uh, where it says normal, these are blend modes. You come down, you can look at each one and see what it does. No, 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 no. Okay, everything in the, Everything in the first box here usually darkens. Everything in the second column, okay, usually lightens. You can look at them and see if you like any of them. And when you come down here, I like that one. You can keep going, see if you like any of these. They get pretty weird. All right. I found, okay, that I like this one. Overlay. That's a pretty nice texture. And now you can say, you can turn it on and off and take a look at it. I think it added a nice artistic touch to the picture. Now you also have the ability to take the move tool and you can move this texture around a little bit, okay? And in this case, okay, we didn't have to <clears throat> take any of the texture off of the flowers. I think, okay, it looks fine without doing that. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you another picture, okay, where you might want, where the texture might also be over top of the, of the, of the base image that you don't want and how you could get rid of it. And we're going to use the same thing we did uh, on the uh, last time, okay, with a mask. All right, so let's let this go. We're going to take in uh, shut this down and go back to Lightroom and get another image. Here's an image of a daffodil, okay, taken in my backyard garden. Okay, lots of people have these, okay. And we're going to take it into Photoshop and put a texture on it. All right, and we also need to have the texture in Photoshop. This is the texture we're going to use. All right. And this texture also came from fly paper textures. And we're going to say edit in Photoshop. And now, okay, up here we have the two images both there. There's a tab for the 
for the texture and a tag for the for the flower for the daffodil. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to take and start okay with the texture. We're going to say select all. All right, once it's selected with marching ants, okay, then we want to say edit copy. When it's copied, it's in the computer memory, all right? And when we switch to the base image of the, of the daffodil, okay, it's still there in the, in the computer's memory. If we say edit, paste, it will paste it there. Now, it's not covering the whole image, and we want to do that, all right? So what we need to do is we need to say edit, transform. Transform what? Okay, scale, rotate, we want scale to size. All right, once we've done that, okay, we can take and we can move this to cover the entire image with that texture. All right, and you see the box is way too big. Well, you just check it off here. It's there. And look at the layer panel over here. Here's our texture, here's our base image. And then literally you just open this blend mode box here where it says normal. These are blend modes and you just look and see which one you like. All right, and you go down and most of these, okay, you won't like, okay. The first five, okay, are usually darken. The second five usually lighten. And these usually increase contrast in the third box. All right, well, we need to pick one. I'm gonna pick, um, I'm gonna pick soft light. All right, <clears throat> let's see what it did. All right, if you click this little eyeball here, it turns the texture off. So you can see it was very green. Now we've added some tones of blue and things like that. I'm, I'm sorry, brown and things like that to it. All right, and what we can do now, okay, is we can leave it there or we can go up here to opacity and we could even move this all the way back to zero. That's telling, that's the opacity of the texture where you can give it 100%. I'm gonna leave it at 100% for the instructional video. But you notice there's a problem. The problem, and I wanted to and do it with this image was to show you, okay, what do you do if, you, if the texture is on the flower and you don't like it? You only want the texture on the background. You go to this little item here called a mask. It's the third one, okay, from the left, one, two, three, mask. You click it. And it gives you essentially a sheet of plastic, okay, that you're putting over top of the image. And you can paint on that piece of plastic, all right? You can paint, you can paint out, okay, the texture just on the flower. And you got to have the right color, though. But it's easy because if this is white, you always want to paint with black. If this was black, you'd always want to paint with white. You pick a brush. Here's your brush tool, here's your eyedropper, here's, here's your brush. So you press brush. You've got a brush now, all right? And you can size your brush with the parentheses, all right? And you can come down here and make sure that you have black. See, the foreground color is what you're going to be painting with, black, and the background color is white. You can switch them with this little button here. We want black. Once we've got black, Okay, we can just go over here and start painting it in. Paint the flower can be exactly back the way it was. In the base image. That's a nice introduction again, okay, to how to use a mask. Very simple. Now, you can click this on and off, and there's what you have now. Now, you may or may not like that texture on there. If you didn't like that texture, then you'd have to go and find a different texture. Many times, okay, you have to try several textures before you find the one, okay, that you feel like you like. But for the instructional video here, this, I think, points it out how you would use it. Um, and again, you can, Use the opacity to bring the background back as much as you want. 
And you can also look at your, your mask up here to make sure that you didn't miss anything. You notice there's a little tiny piece there. It looks like it's missing. It's probably right there. So you just very carefully just go over it. Thank you. How to add a texture. Have fun. <laughs>